If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the Team of the Week, Week 8 reveal, guys. We have a ton of stuff here. We have all the lower cards, of course, all these set pieces. We have the free 89s that you do get. We have the Legend the legend team of the week players, the flashback ones. We have a wild card Wednesday teaser. We have the LTDs. We have everything. We have stats. It's gonna be a good video we have a lot of stuff to go over here so let's get into it guys but before we get into the video make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always guys and of course comment down below and let me know favorite team of the week week eight player as well as who do you think was snubbed which guy do you think deserved a card and was completely just snubbed this week but let's get into this guys so for one of the first lower pieces we have we have 82 overall aj brown which is pretty cool because aj brown did have i believe like a flashback card or like a rising star something like that so you will get you will get the plus one on his power up so if he was an 89 that means he's a 90 which means he's a 91 now so that make aj brown a more usable card this card itself here isn't going to be usable this is more so just a collectible in terms of what you're going to use him for stefan gilmore again another plus one to stefan gilmore's um overall power up chain so if you guys have gilmore on your team you know panthers team teams bills patriots there you go you get your Gilmore plus one. Again, this card's terrible. It's not going to be able to be used. It's more so about going ahead and getting yourself the plus one on Stefan Gilmore. Elijah Missile. Now, this card's actually usable. 86 overall, 90 speed, 91 excel. Could be a decent budget back. Uh, 85 change of direction. 86 carry, 85 agility. Will not be a plus one because I think this is his highest card now. But still pretty cool. I wonder why they took a picture where he's like... It looks like some Tom and Jerry. Like he's reaching around the corner. I don't know why he's like off the card there. But um, Elijah Missile, that's his newest card. Quadre Diggs, Quadre Diggs, Quadre Diggs. 87 speed, 88 excel, free safety. Again, this should be his highest card, so I don't imagine this is like a plus one in terms of his other card, but this should be an 87 overall powered up entirely, so take that as you will if you're a Seahawks fan. There you go. Go ahead and, you know, use him to your best ability. Mike White, quarterback for the Jets. It did take home the dub this week against the Bengals. If you guys watched that game, it was a pretty good game, although it seems like the Bengals are trying to lose that game. I mean, they made some dumb mistakes at the end that they really shouldn't have made, such as trying to like force feed Jamar on the final drive instead of just rushing it out with Mixon, who was doing his job, right? But nonetheless, Mike White, nothing nothing against him. He did good. He played really well. Uh, do I think that he's the replacement for Zach Wilson? I do not. I think it's very early for Wilson. I don't think that's even a debate right now. But it's it, it's always nice when the back can come in and execute the game plan and win a game just like the Cowboys did this week. See, But remember, the Cowboys had a much better team. I, I, I give more to Mike White for winning with what he has. But yeah. That's it. Mike White is an 89 throw power, 78 speed, you know, 91 short accuracy. Decent card. I wouldn't say it's anything too good. And then finally, guys, we have Josh Sweat, 89 overall right end for the Eagles. They just beat the Lions. They beat the hell out of the Lions. Um, not saying a lot, but the Lions were looking at least competitive in a few of those games they played. They losing them all, but they at least were giving up games. They did not, they did not put up a game this week. 86 speed, 90 excel. This card's actually going to be the highest Josh Sweat card. He's not bad. If you power him up, he gets a 90 finesse move. With an 87 speed and 91 excel if you guys need a budget uh and edge rusher with speed you can go ahead and play the solo and get it for free and on your budget team you could have a 90 finesse rusher with 87 speed it's actually not bad at all guys but that's about it for the lower set pieces we're gonna get into the bigger set pieces of course oh the the heroes the legend heroes the ltds and stuff the lower ones are pretty good uh the most important one here probably for most people is gonna be aj brown and stefan gilmore they're plus ones to their current cards those are the ones that really matter you know eli eli mitchell the problem with him is that's probably his highest card. Quadre Dick, same thing. And Mike White, just kind of more like those might be the only card he ever gets again in Madden. And then Josh Sweat. Josh Sweat's not bad. Josh Sweat is actually usable as a base card there. And then, guys, we have Darren Fells, which I was about to show you next, which is our final, our, our teaser, right? Our veteran piece for the tease for tomorrow for Wildcard Wednesday. 84 speed, 82 strength. Card's already horrible. 90 catching, 84 catch and traffic, 88 spec, 88 short running, 82 medium route running, 86 route run blocking. Uh, run blocking wise is actually pretty good. So the only way I can see using this card, you get him for like the free pack or something, or he's super cheap, and you put him as your second tight end to run block for you on like single back, a uh, single back dive, one of those, you know, one of those formations, you know, tight slots. Otherwise, I don't really see him being a useful tight end at all. 84 speed is way too slow. The route running doesn't hit 90s. His catching is about the only decent stat in this whole card. He's a he's a 91 overall card with all mid low 80 card, like stats with like some decently mid high 80 stats, but like only 190. It doesn't even make sense. And even worse, he's a 91. But that's what it for that guys. Let's get into the heroes and everything else. All right, so for the first hero, we do have Adrian Phillips, free safety for the New England Patriots. Now, 
Again, guys, remember the heroes are going to be past players that played well during this week. So these are going to be like they're technically legends if you want to look at it that way although not all of them are going to be as far back as some of the typical legends you do see some of them could be more recent legends like guys who have recently retired but adrian phillips 93 overall free safety great great overall right we're getting up there in overalls here 90 speed 93 excel so the speed in excel is good i wouldn't say it's great but it's good 91 tackle that's good 93 player actually really good 90 pursuits good 84 man's a little bit low considering there's some 90 90 guys in this in this game already 89 zone is good because I can get to a 90 zone powered up, 86 of power. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the card for a few reasons. When you look at a safety, right, the first three stats like you really care about, like, not including speed yet, right? Well, I guess, yeah, you look at speed, you look at man, zone, pit power. Typically, you'll find a guy with, good, with high speed, man, and zone, but they don't get the hit power. Typically, you'll find a guy with good speed and hit power, but they have bad coverage. But he seems like he's not. he doesn't really have great coverage or hit power. Yes, the zone will just barely scrape a 90. But the man won't and the hit power won't. So he won't be the hardest hitter. He won't be the best guy in coverage. Because again, sometimes the zone coverage you don't even notice as much. Like, I really like that man coverage a lot too. Again, you do notice the zone, but I feel like every safety can do zone. Like every safety gets into the 90 zone at this point. That man makes a difference when you're doing like a mid blitz or you have missed you have manned up on a on a you know cover one blitz or something. And for whatever reason, he's he's the little guy manned up and they just get easily cut on. Like that extra man could really help a lot in terms of making sure the blitz gets there. Um, again, the speed's also only 90, so it's not like it's some meta speed either. I don't think this is the best car, but I don't think it's horrible. Next, we have John Abram, or Abraham. I always say this name wrong. Right end for the Jets. I believe he did also play for the Falcons, so theme team-wise, he don't keep that in mind. Uh, 89 speed, again, for an end, 89 speed is really ridiculous. That's a really good speed. 93 Excel, 89 speed. You would think that was like a wide receiver or quarterback or tight end or something. That's a great speed right there. Athletic, check. 88 strength i wish i was a little bit higher but still good 89 tackle is good because that means 90 powered up 90 play rec is really good 88 block sheds a little subpar 87 power move is decent 92 finesse is what you're really looking at here so again if you want just a pure speed rusher like he's going to be able to contain he's going to be able to run a qb spy he's going to lock down the edge of the, of the field that's john abraham now will he be a little bit subpar run stuffing a little bit yeah if you have a strategy card that gets his block shit up i guess i could recommend this card my only problem is really going to be the block shit but again a lot of people really just care about the 90 speed and the 92 finesse move right in my opinion i like when they have the block because i'm not i'm not the best at run defense like here's the thing we have to take that into account too some people are just really good at run defense they know how to you know run the run the quarterback spies and then sets you know set the edge they know how to do certain things that just make or they you know free releases i'm not that guy I need my team to really handle it. I mean, I can call good formations, but I'm not really good at setting things up like that. So for me, a guy with low blocks is just going to be a liability for me. Next, we have Reggie Wayne, wide receiver for the Colts. Another legend one now. By the way, guys, I did want to preface this real quick by saying Adrian Phillips is a current player. I was trying to describe the overall heroes because they did it was it was in the wrong order typically it's like the legends and the hero i i'd screenshot it backwards i was trying to describe how the legends go in the beginning of the video and then it, we we're doing adrian phillips so reggie wayne and john abraham are going to be the legends and adrian phillips are going to be the current week hero just keep that in mind reggie wayne 92 speed that's good 90 jumping that's good 92 catching that's really good 89 catch traffic's great because that's going to be a 90 catch in traffic 90 spec catch is good. 91 short is good. 92 medium is good. 90 deep. So he's an all threshold receiver. Not a single stat will be below 90. And he'll get 93 speed powered up. 90 catch and traffic powered up. All of 90 catch and traffic. I'd love to see his juking, his stiff, his spin, his break tackle, all that stuff. But otherwise, this card looks like it's going to be really, really good. And probably one of the best receivers in the game. Or at least up there. Maybe not the best, right? But Or maybe not top five. But, you know, being top 10 receiver is pretty big still him up because not... You figure two of them are LTDs, two of them are unaffordable. You know, you end up being like the bottom five are going to be what most people can afford. So if he fits into that spot of being a top 10 receiver, but being a bottom five price, that'd be really, really good. So he's pretty good. Powder 294 overall. He gets on a cold steam team. I'm not sure if any of I think he played Colts his whole life. I'm, I could be wrong though, but I think he played for the Colts his whole career. Guys, we have D4 for the LTD. This is going to be the final card of the drop. 87 speed, 90 excel. That's really, really good. Um, again, pretty athletic. 86 strength, 92 tackle. The strength slow, the tackle's great. 92 play rec, 89 block shed's great, like I said, because powered up will be a 90. 85 power move powered up and 95 finesse move, guys. This is going to be one of the best finesse rushers in the game with good speed, good finesse, and he can run stuff. I really like this card. He's going to be pretty expensive, more than likely. I mean, the name's not exactly like, wow, like Lawrence Taylor, but the stats-wise, he's going to be pretty athletic with great finesse move. He's going to be an LTD, though, so, you know, I don't think he's going to be on many teams, but he's not bad. He's not a bad card at all. But guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and of course, comment down below 
What team of the week player do you think was snubbed? And as well, if you guys need coins, head on down below to my sponsor. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to make sure you're getting the discount you deserve. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.